Domestic and family violence is an incredibly important issue, not just for community, but for QPS. It is our single most biggest call for service in the organisation. Almost 100,000 occurrences just in the last year. We are heavily invested in making sure that our communities are safe. There was 15 domestic related homicides last year in 2019 alone, uh, but even one's too many. So there's a lot more calls for service um, than we are getting in early days. And I think a lot of that comes down to community education around sort of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable behaviour in a relationship. I think it's so important that um, if the changed circumstances that people are experiencing have placed them um, at a higher risk of domestic violence that they do try and report it. Um, reach out to police via the online reporting mechanisms that we have in place now. If it's a incident of domestic violence that's happening at the time, people should call triple zero if they feel like they're in any danger. If they don't have the ability to call triple zero, there's also the option of um, requesting police assistance online through the online reporting forms. Alternative way of contacting PoliceLink if they don't have the ability or it's not appropriate for them to make contact via phone. Um, that's giving them an another option. You get a sense or a feeling that something is not quite right. More often than not, you are correct. So please report to police, have that conversation. We're asking anyone who witnesses uh, things that they're suspicious that may be domestic and family violence to, to speak up. It can be a neighbour, can hear something going on next door um, and wanting to report and do something. It might not seem like it at the time, um, but there is help out there. Your safety is paramount. And if you're not feeling safe, then please, the police want to help you. Speaking up then can prevent you to speaking to me or one of my colleagues in the future, because then it's too late.